Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play. Uh, today we're going to be playing uh, an Amiga game called Lionheart. This is one of the late uh, Amiga games. Uh, came by the end of the life cycle of the... Um, the commercial life cycle of the Commodore Amiga. Um, Lionheart is considered one of the games with the better graphics on the Amiga. And it's a game I never played, never played before. This is the first time I'll be playing this game. And uh, let's see uh, how I fare uh, on the this never before played game. I never had it on uh, when I had the Amiga. Um, it came out in 1994, I believe. And uh, designed by Talion, which were famous back in the day uh, for designing the a320 Airbus uh, simulator which was a pretty impressive game for the time uh, but then they decided to make this one and uh, this was probably one of the last games they, they put out um, and it looks great you know it has great graphics so uh, let's take a look I'll be playing this for a few minutes and uh, let's see how it goes Oh, here we have our main character. He's putting uh, his vest. Oh, it's like a lion man. Yeah, this is this is like uh, this is probably inspired by Thundercats, which was very popular back in the day, in the eighties. Oh, now he looks like He Man, and he has a dragon. So this is a mixture of Thundercats and He-Man. But the graphics are great, man. Look at this. Look at the pixel art. Right. Valdin crossed the border and flew into Norica's country. Everything had gone smoothly until now. Then he noticed a shape on the horizon, which rapidly grew bigger. One of Norica's airships. Okay, so our hero name is Valdin. Uh, frantically, Valden urged the dragon to fly faster. Maybe he could still escape, but the airship grew even larger. It had neared to a distance of a few meters when an explosion sounded and rapidly expanding net flew towards Valden and the dragon. Very dramatic. Very dramatic. That's next. They were caught by the net and were swiftly hauled towards the ship. Valdin, who was having a hard time with the panicking dragon, drew his sword and hacked away through the tough material. Just before being drawn into the airship, he jumped out and plummeted towards the ground. Wow, very heroic. Uh, Valdin, our hero here. Our mixture of uh, He-Man and Lionel from the Thundercats. Due to his new powers, Valdin has survived the long fall without even a scratch. He stood far lonely in the swamps and watched the airship fly out of sight. He cursed. His mission would be so easy now. Yeah. There goes the flying ship. Alright, so let's uh, start the game. Let's see. Let's see what kind of options we have here. Uh... Difficulty, Lion Hard, Normal, Hard, Lion Hard, okay. No easy, so let's do Normal. Joystick, one and two buttons. I have a two button joystick, so let's use that. I don't need to do a sound test. Let's go. Let's start this. <clears throat> Nothing could be done. Valdin would have to make the entire journey on foot. He sighted and entered the swamps. Okay. There go the swamps. Wow. Let's see what let's see where you get a jump. Okay, jump. Put out the sword. Okay. Uh, it's kind of small sword. Oh, I can I can kick uh, I can kick on the floor too. Alright, okay. Oh look at I can do that little spin. Let's say jump. Okay. Oh I can slide. Very well animated, it seems. Oh, the graphics of this game is really amazing. It's really, it truly is one of the best uh, uh, graphics on the Amiga. All right. Oh, let's jump here. 
the inertia on the jumps are kind of infuriating and the surfaces are kind of slippery oh we collect those uh, little triangle things those are like uh, what uh, sonic rings <laughs> oh, let's jump all right let's go down smoothly right, see. the the sky and the the water is a little glitchy um, I don't know if the original game has this I'm playing on a Raspberry Pi again because my um, my capture card could not uh, could not connect to the Commodore Amiga. I have Amiga A1200, and uh, I could not connect uh, to play this game on the original Amiga. So it's going to be emulation. It's running fine. It's just the sky and the water are glitching a little bit. Oh. Jeez, it's so slippery, those platforms. They look slippery, look. Ah, oh. oh, Jesus. Let's try one more time. Yeah. 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 Forget about it. There was some triangles there I like to catch. I suppose if you fall in the water, you're gonna die. Okay. See, there's even a, a little animation for the, uh, when you get close to the, to the edge. It's pretty cool. Music on this game is really tense. Wow, really good. Man. It's a really good game. Really good game. So far, nothing um, as far as difficulty. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, let's cross this. Oh, you see, our life meter have like uh, little hearts. I have like four hearts. So every time an enemy hits you, you lose one heart. And I have two lives on the right side. See, two, I have two lives. And I've collected six of these uh, triangle things that look like Talion's uh, logo. Let's call them Talions. I've got six Talions already. Uh, music slowed down. Oh, you see the spikes on the floor? You have to jump over them. Yeah. Oh, a bunch of spikes now. And the platform swirls. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Oh. I can do that. Let's try one more time. I can, I can. Oh, Jesus, I died. Uh, let's see. Let's try one more time. See, those uh, platforms is... is they turn around, they're pretty tricky. Uh, with a, this guy jumping left and right, does not help. Let's get some more of these stallions. This is probably some kind of currency in the game. I don't know. Again, never played this game before, first time. You guys are watching me playing this for the first time ever. It's a 19, 1994 game from Talion. And Talion was a German German company. Uh, I forgot to mention in the beginning. Um, this is probably one of her best offerings, man. This is uh, it's a really cool game. It's a late game for the Amiga, but it's a really cool one. And it has that classic uh, Amiga skyline. <laughs> they got famous. Uh, there's a bunch of Amiga games that had that same type of uh, skyline with the purple and blue and pink you know uh, the parallax is pretty cool okay there's a cavern here let's see what uh, has we have inside. oh my god look at this Jesus it's a huge insect monster let's put out tiny little insects oh my god it's menacing oh look at that jump Jesus Christ, that's scary. Oh, I killed it. Yeah, but I got killed by one of its uh, offsprings. All right, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> There's a little potion there. Well, now I don't need it anymore. Okay. Let's see these little things. Uh, there's probably more of those big ones around, because if you have the little, little ones, there's probably another mother. Mother. 
Okay. Man. How hard it is, Lion. I call this guy Lion. Yeah. No. No Valdir. Uh, I don't know what that name is. Okay. Let's uh, let's continue. It has six credits. Let's go. Oh, again. I don't know if I'm back to the beginning of the stage of the cavern. Yes, I am. Yeah. All right. Let's kill these little guys again. Jesus Christ! They they drown your energy. You have to be more patient. Just knee and then kick them. There you go. It's one of those games that you can't you can't rush, man. It's not a it's not a run and jump game. Definitely not a run and jump game. You have to think about every single thing you're gonna do in this game. And uh, there's no timer, so that's a good thing. I hate timers. I hate timers. You know, Super Mario World has timers. Has a timer. Every Mario game has a timer. I don't like it. Oh, look at that! Uh, saw that jump. All right. Let's kill these little guys. Kick, kick, done. Let's get some Italians. All right. Oh, they're, they're on the top now. Uh, jump and jump and hit. Jump and hit. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you're patient on this game, you know, and you approach these things uh, patiently, um, you should have no problems. At least with uh, enemies like this. You know? But it, look at the graphics of this game, man. The colors and the, the pixel art. This is, this is really fantastic. Uh, this is a game that... Um, you know, with all these uh, pixel art craze that we have these days, this could be easily ported to uh, the PlayStation 4 and the Switch. You know, if uh, you improve the mechanics a little bit, because you know, uh, it has a little bit older mechanics. Ah, oh, Jesus, it died again. Oh, this time, I'm not at the beginning of the stage. Uh, I think I'll go straight to the huge insect. There you go. Kill it! Kill the mother! Come on, boy! Kill the mother! There you go. Oh, Jesus, this little guy. There you go. Get out of here. Okay, back to the swamps. Yeah. Little dance are not that great. At least I don't have to uh, swap discs. Okay. It's another good thing about emulating um, on, uh, on the Raspberry Pi is that I don't have to worry about swapping discs. It's all running from a hard drive image. Um, okay. Oh, see those little things on the bottom? Yeah, they're deadly. Platform, platform, platform. There you go, Valdir. Oh, Lion, Lion. Yeah. I want him to be called Lion. He Lion. <laughs> it's a mixture of He Man and Lionel from Thundercats. He Lion. Come on, He Lion. Let's go. Let's go up one more time because I think there's more things to see. Oh, see? There's an extra platform over there. How, how can I get over there? Yeah, let's move forward. Come on, crazy platform. I, I'm, I'll hit it with a sword. There you go. There you go. It's, it's sat still. If you hit them, they stay still for a little while. Enough that you can uh, jump. Oh. Those are... The other ones are very nice, they're cushioned. Uh, oh, they jump over me. Yeah. Again, I mentioned that already, but the soundtrack of this game is fantastic, man. Soundtrack, graphics, playability is pretty good. That's a great game. That's a great Amiga game, man. 
I wish I wish I had played that back in the day. But uh, when this game came out, I was already uh, I was already fiddling with a 486 uh, DOS computer. You know, the Amiga was somewhat old news. Um, I grew tired of the Amiga back then. You know, I know it's a lot of a lot of a lot of Amiga fans are gonna criticize me over there. Oh Jesus! See the light kills you. The swamp. Uh, it's one of my favorite systems by far. You know. Um, nowadays I have uh, I have two Amigas. I have a 500 and a 1200, and I wish I could buy more Amigas. But back in the day, you know, circa 1993-1994, I was growing a little tired of the Amiga. Some of my friends had a Mac, um, Macintosh computers, and they had uh, 486 computers, and they could there's uh, those computers uh, with uh, multimedia systems, like from Creative Labs. Man, a 486, a DOS. Uh, computer uh, 486 with uh, multi multimedia uh, drive installed, like a, C a CD-ROM drive and a Sound Blaster card. That was that was something, man. And I saw and I saw games like Phantasmagoria and uh, oh, I died again. Uh, let's let's try one more time. We have credits. We have credits. All right, we've carried the spike. Okay, I got back to the entrance of that cavern that I that I killed all those giant bugs. Oh, okay. Well, again, uh, yeah, when this game came out, I was already well into a, a PC game, a DOS game. I was playing. I was playing uh, Day of the Tentacle and. Uh, and a Max hit the road. I used to love those adventure games. I was into uh, some of those Sierra Big Box games. But uh, I still kept my Amiga. I played. I played an Amiga every now and then, especially the soccer games. You know, I'm a I'm a huge fan of soccer games and Amiga had a ton of those and I played sensible soccer and uh, kickoff um, but I I played FIFA international soccer for the first time on the on the PC but uh, okay let's talk about Lionheart here I talk about soccer here <laughs> I can talk about soccer for hours um, yeah our hero the team is traveling through the swamps and killing those enemies. You know, one of the criticisms I have about these uh, European platformers is that sometimes the levels are way too long, man. Way too long, you know. And uh, one of the magical things about uh, Super Mario, uh, Super Mario World, uh, Mario, Mario Three, you know, those games. You can finish a stage in a couple of minutes, you know. And uh, the mechanics are perfect, and you can you can finish a stage in a couple of minutes. And we have tons of stages. Those are European games. Uh, they have like eight stages, six stages, and I don't know how many Lionheart has. You know, maybe not many. Oh Jesus, I'm drowning all the time now. Um. But the levels are way too long. Like they try to use the, the same assets and uh, and uh, take all the advantage of uh, all the elements they have. Because the games are the games themselves are not that long. If you consider like four, five, six, maybe eight stages, eight different stages. You know, this is not long. But uh, very repetitive. Uh, let's get to this platform. Yeah, we need to get that smaller one to the to go to the flat surface. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. Yo, this guy follows you. It's very dangerous, you know, because if he hits you, you fall, you drop. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. He just fell in the lake. Oh, there's another one. Jesus, they come from all sides now. Yeah, I have to jump on this bug thing. Okay. Where, where are you going to take me? All right. Let's see. Platform. Stop. Stop twirling. Oh. Let's jump on this. Get a potion. Oh. Uh, I like the little jump he does and, uh, and swing to the other side and uh, and hit the enemy. That's pretty cool. Okay, spikes on the floor. The old cliche on platforming, adventure platforming games. Yeah. I hate spikes coming from the floor, man. Don't fall in the glitchy water. Okay. More spikes for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is taking all my energy. Okay. Slippery platform. There's more spikes over there. You know. Look, there's a big potion. If I get that potion, I'll be good. There you go. I got it. It's a long, it's a long jump. It's very high. Don't fall. Don't fall. All right, jump. Okay, good. We're getting somewhere here, man. Come on. Oh, what's this? Oh, something shooting those little pellets at me. Oh, it's a plant. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Jesus Christ, this thing is going to take all my energy. Come on. Ah, oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. That's that's the end. I think I think we had enough. I mean, we had enough of the Lionheart today. It's a pretty cool game. Uh, I recommend. Recommend if you like platforms, if you like good graphics on a 16-bit system. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Okay. Let's go info. What's this? With Lionheart, you're holding in your hands the results of 16 months of struggle, enthusiasm, and hard work. For young and idealistic, but nevertheless paid people, put a lot of effort into it. Many colleagues call us crazy to make such a huge and expensive project on a pirate tormented machine as the Amiga. Instead of stopping to support the Amiga, we'll let the users decide whether it's still possible to afford developing high-quality software in this machine or not. If we shouldn't be able to cover at least our development costs by the sales... Okay, so if you spend your money on this, thanks for giving the, us the chance to do something even better next time possibly. If you copy Lionheart, well, that's your decision. Life's a series of decisions and their results. I hope you won't run around complaining that there are no good action titles for the machine anymore. Not that we decide to quit developing for the Amiga. Okay, yeah, that that really... Was that necessary? I mean, uh, <laughs> they are really desperate in the end. Uh I, I, that's probably one of the last last games the the Talon uh, uh, develop. I feel them, you know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.